got another weirdo wandered in off the street. No, Rich, Rich. Oh my God! I, I didn't recognize you at all with the, the mask on. So, so you're wearing that because we're watching superhero movies today? We're watching superhero movies? I, I wear this because I have trouble connecting with people on an emotional level. Well, I guess it's time to recap all three of these films. And to, well, oh, oh my God, we have, we a, have a breaking update from A breaking Rich Evans. news report from Rich Evans wow. from the news desk. I guess these are other titles from director of Super Sensual, <laughs> Vicious Blondes. Vicious Blondes. Vicious Vicious blondes. blondes. Yeah, okay. As in blondes that are vicious. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Continue. Confessions of a dirty pair. A dirty a what? what? A dirty what? Parrot? Pair. Not a parrot, but a pair. Pair? Fuck you. Like a pair of like people. Like, oh, I thought it meant like a fruit. Uh -huh. right, his next, his fourth film, please, on the list. Yeah, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Sappho 65. I can't. All right, it's finally time. We're gonna watch dinosaur movies. Hey, Jack, do you uh, do you remember the '90s? Do 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 do. Yeah, I do. More more specifically, do you remember Jurassic Park? Oh, Jurassic Park's a great movie. Jurassic Park's a great movie, right? I'm gonna say Jurassic Park is the worst thing to ever happen to dinosaurs. And that includes when they all died. Because in the wake of Jurassic Park, there was a renewed interest in dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have all these dinosaur movies, Jack. Dinosaur movies? I mean, there was there's three pre-hysteria movies. Ooh. Adventures in Dinosaur City. That sounds awesome. A whole city made of... And of course, who could forget Dennis the Menace Dinosaur Hunter? Are we going to watch this? We're not watching that one. Oh, well, fuck it. Our first movie is Theodore Rex, starring Whoopi Goldberg and John Goodman. It is a detective story. Yes, technically. And so, by the filmmakers making the story so incoherent, we get to be the detectives trying to piece together what is happening in front of our eyes. It makes perfect sense. The, the, the first clue, or lack of a clue, is the opening text crawl, right? Once upon a time in the future. You think there's an example of like a good text crawl in a sci-fi movie that, that helps explain things? I can't possibly think of one. All right, Jack, our next film is Carnosaur, produced by Roger Gorman. Slapped together quickly to capitalize on the, the recent success of Jurassic Park. Sure, the, the velociraptor craze yes, of yes. the mid-90s. And this film also stars Diane Ladd, who is uh, Laura Dern's mom in real life. Laura Dern was, of course, in Jurassic Park. Who's Laura Dern? She's in Wild at Heart. She's in tons of stuff. She's the, a great actress. You don't, everyone knows who Laura Dern is, except for you. I know who Laura Dern is. Shut up, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Diane Ladd dies because she has a, a, a dinosaur uh, squirt out of her stomach, like alien style. Not oh, just she, squirt she, out. She gives herself a, a, a C-section with her fingers. Yeah. That's awesome! <laughs> she ripped open her own belly to birth a dinosaur. <laughs> Well, what's next? Chopping Mall. Newly released on Blu-ray. All the high fidelity quality for Chopping Mall. <laughs> so many wasted pixels. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I forgot what movie we watched second. Well, the next film that we watched, um, which was a full story that had a beginning, a middle, and an end, uh, and it was called Chopping Mall. Right. And Jack, I would like you... You should have just handed it off to Jack without saying the title. Oh, fuck, that would have been good. No, yep. now I'm remembering yeah. stuff. Yeah, well, late. Jack, now explain... <laughs> Stop. I told you it was going to go like that. <laughs> if you <laughs> wouldn't have explained the title, I would have blanked out for a good minute and a half. What a missed you know. opportunity. <laughs> Damn it. No. So here's the important part. Yeah. All these kids having a party in the mall, but the mall has recently installed new security. Robots. And these robots are supposed to stop punks and bad guys from stealing stuff. Before I open the floor, I'd like you all to meet your brand new security team. I don't know, Mary. The one in the middle has an unpleasantly ethnic quality. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> but lightning hits the robot box. And that <laughs> yeah. and that makes them evil. That makes them evil. Lightning yep. equals evil. And like they're not evil, like they don't smash everything around them. No. They don't cuss words. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Dick Miller. No. So Dick Miller shows up. Uh, they they refer to him as Walter. Yo, Walter, you having a good time? <laughs> Ty, you know Paisley. He loves the challenge. Which is a recurring gag if you're familiar with B movies. Walter Paisley, which was his character in Bucket of Blood. Yep. Um, so occasionally, whenever he shows up in these these one scene roles, he plays the character of Walter Paisley. He's not the first cameo as somebody else from another movie either. Oh, no, yeah, way. that's right. The opening scene is. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Paul Bartel and Mary Warrenov as the characters from Eating Raoul. The Protectors will make Park Plaza the safest mall in the state. Trust me. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I want you guys to roll your eyes, but I want you to imagine that everyone is watching from very far away. <laughs> you see, see, I do know you. What's your money? The other is your band, your groupies. What of them? Never here, Bob. Merely shadows I created to entertain your little friends. Oh Just my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just fuck characters her. I do from. What the hell is happening? <laughs> we are filling time. Yeah, they just ran out of movie. This is insanity. <laughs> this is pure insanity. Jack, this is your first first Rudy Ray Moore experience. What a way to start. What uh, what what are your initial takeaways on Rudy Ray Moore as a persona? If you say one more word to me, I'll help that lady take one of her titties and beat the shit out of you. Uh, uh, glorious overall. The it <laughs> sure likes to yell. <laughs> it's such a strong vision for a movie, and this is not me over exaggerating. Like he knew exactly what he wanted this movie to look like. Yeah. And this is it. Like it's comedy, it's drama, it's social commentary. It's a devil with a <laughs> cane <laughs> and cleaning up the streets, man. It's great. Oh, get back here! Come on, Rick, go! Rick! Rick! You fuckers! You fuckers! <laughs> I got your car keys. I've got your car keys, you fuck. Watch what do it! You think you can escape from me? Where do you think you're going? I can't believe we're fucking picking a best of the worst for this shit. <laughs> This is the name of the show. We have got five tapes, and what is the best of the oh, worst? Oh, fuck that. Jack? Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm really torn. I'm going to talk through my process here. I'm really torn between California Big Hunks <laughs> and Toro. Uh, lawnmower <laughs> Safety. Okay. There's a purity to Toro. Right. There, there's a purity to Toro that then, uh, as soon as the love ballad starts... To, elevates it to something weird and it, it like we were just hitting the point where we're like okay it's just lawnmower safety wait is that a love ballad <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, that's okay oh. head's getting bigger it's uh -oh. fucking weird uh, like it's gonna come out of the head oh, 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 oh maybe oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yes you're turning into a here spider. we go yeah, uh, yeah! oh my god that's horrifying oh god what? How'd that even happen? Who cares? It's great. But again, some fun action. You know, they're hanging out the back of a car. They, they jump from one car to the other. They flip a doos and zip a dees. And so then uh, they, they find the diamonds. And uh, as it turns out, the, the big cops were the bad guys. Oh my God! The end. What a shocker! It's like they, they had that that wide you know aerial shot with the the, the car and the, the wacky banter. And we're like, wait, 
this is like a credit shot. Is the movie <laughs> is the movie over? No, the movie can't be over. No, we haven't man. wrapped up Cameron Mitchell yet. Yeah. Oh, it's over. <laughs> I know there's more story, but this looks like the ending shot of a movie, so let's just stop. And that's how our discussion ends. It's just over. Yep. Oh, oh there oh. he is! Oh, he's smoking a pipe! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yay! Dancing skeleton! <laughs> and all of it is in Chinese, or in, in uh, you know, the, an Asian language. And so we have no idea what they're saying. We're just going off the visuals, and this ridiculous, every single actor has this ridiculous mime. Because they can't... You know, they can't use words, and so like, I want to say there's one shot where the guy in the anti-evolution video was trying to mime that you don't have any evidence, and so he goes... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, yeah. I think we all agree that Cleared for Takeoff is about to hit some turbulence. But let's go ahead uh, and start talking about Alexander Salkin Presents Supergirl. Jack Packard. Would you like to talk about Supergirl? I would love to talk about Supergirl all day long. My You're friends. the only one that's excited about Supergirl. <laughs> yeah. This movie was fucking horrible. It was way worse than I could have imagined. Yeah. Wow. And I still loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I got this shit. She travels through Magic Egg and goes to Earth. Uh, uh, should we have some explanation why she's got the costume? Why does she have the costume? Because Supergirl, guys. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Because Supergirl wears the costume. This is the laziest thing. <laughs> Did the capsule bleach her hair? <laughs> oh, yeah. She's wow. in the woods. She's got a frolic with bunnies. <laughs> She's flying. She needs to fly by some ponies. <laughs> <laughs> I know girls love ponies. <laughs> I will say, I mean, I, I watched this several times as a kid. I, I still kind of like. What did it. you see in it? Oh God! <laughs> no, well, no. I grew up. I grew up on a farm, and we didn't have. <laughs> you can end it right there. I like Supergirl because I grew up on a farm. Cut. Captain, are you okay? You, you, yeah. slightly faster than an old man. <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> that's obnoxious. I love the spinning. I like the spinning. Oh, that's obnoxious. It's horrible. I'd be okay with breaking Supergirl, but I know everybody else hey, isn't, now. so... We, I, I like to think that we only destroy a movie when it is insulting to us. Yeah. Yes. I feel All of like these were entertaining to watch. That, that, that. It, it was fun to watch it and be like, why is right. it, and what, it, what it is, is happening? It is an insulting movie as far as sexist content <laughs> is concerned, but it did not insult me as a viewer. Like, we, you should watch this to know how not to write a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think technically Captain America is a better movie, but I was less entertained by it than I was Supergirl. Yep. Yeah. Because Supergirl was just so bad and so stupid. <laughs> the script for that movie was just the worst thing. Yeah. This, this, this is not a good movie. Uh, technically, this is not as good of a movie as Supergirl, but man, Supergirl was just awful. Just so the, I guess the moral of the night is that, that sometimes the underdogs can win. Hey. Oh. Kept, yeah, that's sweet. This Good Fantastic Four movie is so much better than its reputation. Yes. See it with an open mind. Yeah. Look, look past the budget. See it with an open mind and an open heart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>